Today I'm going to demonstrate how can we, we are able to decrypt the dark gate payload, the version number 5. So we have a total three different stages in this demonstration. We basically get the first decoy PDF file through an email. And if I opened up this PDF document, you can see that it basically told us to click on the button below. And if the victim clicks on that button, it will be redirect to do a malicious link. And if that malicious link being clicked, it will be dropped a zip file. We can see that in the stage two section. Um, if the zip file being extracted by the victim, we will be observing this LNK file. LNK files are a Windows shortcut file. If you go to see the properties of that file, you can see that there is an command line argument. It launches uh, the cmd.exe to execute further malicious uh, payload. So this is quite interesting too, because it is unusual to execute a malware that way. It is abusing a, D a DNS uh, TXT section uh, to receive uh, the further payload and then saves it as a CMD file. You, you can see that it is using NSLOOKUP and look the text section of the DNS request to that malicious URL and then saves the file as a CMD file. So this is another stage uh, and that when it is being saved and then executed on the file, it will use uh, Windows uh, living of the land binaries such as curl.exe to download additional stages. And this is the stage three. Uh, it is related to the autoit execution. So the dark gate uh, versions uh, mainly abuse the autoit uh, binary. Uh, it is a le legitimate binary, by the way. You can see that uh, it is digitally signed uh, binary, they are basically utilizing this tool to execute a malicious script. Um, so both of them being downloaded after that stage, that uh, DDNS uh, re uh, re request stage, um, they are they are being downloaded uh, and when the autoit being executed, it will launch that script. So our purpose today is being able to extract the, the final payload, the final dark gate payload inside that script file. If we take a closer look at that, that, that script file by using hex editor, you can see that uh, a meaningless uh, garbage data, uh, sort of. But uh, it is actually uh, a, an autoid script. You can see that from that magic header over here. Uh, I am highlighting uh, right now. And if we go below it, at the end of the script, um, so there are some patterns also, you can see that over here, go down. So we know that uh, from previous uh, re research uh, at the dark, dark gate version 5, uh, they are using uh, the, f the first 8 bytes of the file of, of the script as an XOR decryption key. So we can use that uh, to decrypt that script and then uh, being able to extract the final payload. So let's uh, try to do that. Uh, I will be highlighting the first eight bytes. Uh, 
and then copy it to the Cyberchef to decrypt it. So it is a hexadecimal value. It is again uh, normally the XOR encrypted script file, but uh, it is being decrypted during the ex during the, ex the execution time of the dark gate. So it is being decrypted. Let's save it. Dark gate decrypted payload.bin and then put this over here so this is right now the decrypted binary uh, we can take a closer look at it over here i will close this one so again, uh, when we look at it, it will start with uh, a trash uh, code. Um, that's basically a totally garbage. So we need to delete this portion and look for the MZ header. Um, so this is basically a kind of like a manual work right now why I'm doing it, or you can just simply uh, look at 4D5A so let's take a look at it so yeah this is the binary uh, you, you can see that uh, from the magic header also this section is telling you that this is a legitimate binary this is a uh, the section that we are uh, we will be looking at it so I will be delete the other portions. Uh, this is again uh, only the garbage code. And uh, during the execution time, it is being used uh, to evade some detection, sort of. It is using garbage code uh, and also the XOR dec decryption routine. So I will delete that section and then save it again so right now it is the dark gates payload that's the that's the final payload that we are looking at right now and if you can see it there are some strings and meaningful variables libraries etc so i will close it uh, let's take a look at that one so I will send it to the Aida, uh, sorry, uh, Ghidra. We, we can also check out with PE beer to see the headers of that binary. So we can see that it is being successfully extracted and you can see that from the import tables is correct so these are the libraries being used by the dark gate and this is the sections etc let's hit okay and go inside the final dark gate payload analyze yes so i also created a script to be able to get the configuration key uh, inside that dark gate payload uh, I will be show it how it has been work in a minute uh, it simply uses uh, a unique alphabet uh, for the decoding the base 64 encoded data and that's the configuration of the dark gate it's basically as simple as that um, there is no further encryption routine it's only a sort of like an encoding uh, going on uh, i will be show it in a minute when the analysis is done so you can already see that uh, the dark gate related strings um, and the functionalities of the malware 
if we check out that alphabet yeah this one so this is uh, like a base 64 if you go to the cyber chef i will delete this one base 64 you will be see that it is using an alphabet to do the encoding stuff but instead of using the default one uh, the Darkgate developers use um, oh sorry this is the entry point so they are using this this variable um, so we can basically copy this and then change that alphabet and then go to the config that's uh, basically the c2 um, uh, url being hidden uh, we can try to see that uh, it should be somewhere around here So yeah, that one. So this is uh, the config uh, that has been statically uh, inserted inside the code section of the binary. Um, if we copy this one and paste it, so you will be able to see that it has been decoded um, the, the C2 server address. So it is only using base64 encoding but uh, the alphabet is uh, totally different um, so if we delete that and look at furthermore there are another uh, configuration related uh, strings um, so this one over here is also related to the configuration uh, of the dark gate uh, binary you can see that the first one is the port uh, number and it is goes uh, all the way to 29 or 28 if i remember correctly yes so these are uh, the part of the configuration this is related to the uh, the C2 and these are the additional features of the malware such as anti-VM, rootkit uh, so this, the, these are basically the boolean characters and some of the things such as crypto key is a citring value um, so let's, uh, let's try to use uh use the the script to decrypt uh, to get the configuration uh, okay dark gates payload So I already published this uh, script into my GitHub. Uh, I will also uh, share it, um, the link itself on the uh, YouTube uh, comment section. Uh, let's run it and let's see the details of it. So this basically gives us uh, the C2 address automatically without doing this manual extraction. Uh, it helps us to do that. And also it is uh, capable to extract further uh, details related to the dark gate payload, the final payload of the dark gate. Um, this alphabet section uh, could be changed uh, over time related to the versions 
or the payload gen generation etc uh, but uh, these scripts can be more modified to find that alphabet uh, more automatically rather than copy and pasting from uh, from here uh, from Ghidra you are able to use regex for for example to find this automatically and then put it the alphabet variable to avoid um, that kind of changes uh, because if the alphabet was changed you couldn't able to decrypt this uh, decode this sorry um, so that's that's pretty much it uh, and if you have any question or further feedback please uh, make it a comment and yeah that's pretty much it. Thank you very much for your listening.